Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. So we're taking a look today in an app that we've been patiently, impatiently, well, we've been waiting. So we've been waiting for this app since Google I.O. This is Google's Allo. It's their new smart messenger. And we've been talking a lot about it. It's been getting tons of hype in recent weeks, especially as we've led up to what we thought was going to be the launch at the end of summer. And just so happens that Google slipped it in. Uh, either way, there's a lot to talk about here, and it's something I think a lot of us are going to have to decide. Like, is this even going to be worth switching over to from whatever we're on right now? Uh, so with that said, let's just do this. Let's take a first look at Google Allo. So what exactly is there to know about Allo? Well, first of all, it's not necessarily tied to your Google account. So when you sign up, much like WhatsApp, it actually uses your phone number. So I'm not going to show you that. It's going to be kind of hard to show you the sign-up process with my phone number. Also, if you swipe out this side menu, it will show you your account and your phone number. So if you are sharing things about Allo in the near future, just keep a keep that in mind that uh, your phone number is everywhere. So you do sign up with your phone number and then it sort of attaches after that to your Google account. I think sort of probably syncing reasons, all of that stuff. Um, once you've done that, you then need to talk everyone you know into switching to Allo. So you can do that a couple of ways. You can just tell them and send them a link or from within Allo, you can actually hit this new message button which I can't necessarily do on camera because it's gonna show you every phone number of every person on my phone. Uh, but you would send that and you would send them a message and it sort of works in this weird short code SMS way where they get this really sort of, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of a shady looking pop-up that says, hey, this person sent you a message from Allo, whatever that is. It's, it's, it's weird and we'll talk more about that in another post. But either way, you get everyone to sign up, they're in Allo and you're ready to start messaging. So what do you do with Allo? Why is it different? What's the point of it? Why should you even consider it? Um, so a couple of things. Uh, obviously, I have some chats here, and so we'll dive into those. But one of the big things is Google Assistant. So Google Assistant is supposed to be sort of your assistant built into your messenger. So you can do a couple of things here. You can start a conversation with Google Assistant. You can see I've got one going on right here. Um, and so when you're in Google Assistant, you can ask it for help. You can talk to it about movies, restaurants nearby. You can play games with it, check in on your flights that are coming up, sports scores, all that stuff. So if you think about Google Now or some of the, the Google Voice actions and cards you've known and sort of become familiar with, it's a little bit like that. So um, if you just type in, what can you do? and send. And you can see I'm talking to Google Assistant up top. So if I say that, it then gives you a list of stuff you can do. Well, what it's supposed to do is give you this list, but I just typed that in. So it starts telling you some things you can do. Um, so if we tap in going out, it then says, help me with going out. It says, I can find places nearby, help you pick a restaurant or catch a movie. So let's just do restaurants nearby. And then Google will do that. Here are some listings of restaurants nearby. Red Lobster, <laughs> Wendy's, Gustav. So, so then it gives you a bunch of that stuff and you can tap on one like say Sonic and then it'll pull up information about Sonic, give you abilities to call there, check their menu, get pictures, directions. Um, and you'll notice I keep tapping on um, these items down here. And so these are sort of smart replies that Google calls and that's gonna load up some photos of which you don't necessarily need to see, but you can see all these things down here and it's sort of supposed to generate um, automatic responses that you may use as you jump through Google Assistant. And so it's a little bit like, well, Google's calling them smart replies. One thing you can also do is if Google doesn't give you, Google Assistant doesn't give you the answer you're looking for, you can give it a thumbs down. If it gives you something good, you can do thumbs up and it says thank you and things like that. Um, obviously, there's, there's lots of voice stuff in here too. So I can say... How old is LeBron James? because we ask that on every single video we do. Hey, look at that, there's LeBron James. Um, and so you can get more information about him, like here's an about card and it should bring me some more information. So you guys get how this works. Um, you can do sports scores, like I can say, did the Giants win last night? And it'll look and it says the New York Giants beat the New Orleans and I don't want those Giants. No, the San Francisco Giants. And then, yay, it does then check out the San Francisco Giants. And yes, they win. So it's got that sort of that conversational style to it as well. Um, once that shows up, though, I can then say, hey, maybe I want MLB standings. They won to see where they're standing. Of course, it's only showing me the AL East, which doesn't help. But so you, you sort of get this, right? Um, 
what can you do? So we'll try to bring back up that menu of stuff that it can do. All right, so if you flip through this, there's other things. Like you can play games. So it says, let's play a game. And we can pull this up and there's chat games and quiz games and there's even classic games. And the classic games just launched recently through Google Tic-Tac-Toe and Solitaire. And so then you can quickly play a game of Tic-Tac-Toe. And uh, no one wins. So it, it, those things are sort of built in. Um, if we go back up here to some other stuff, how about fun? So you can say, help me have some fun. And then it can find funny pictures, videos, jokes. You can have it recite a poem. So it, it's it's a little gimmicky, but it's also just something you kill some time with. It's also got some useful stuff. And there's a, there's a poem there. Um, if we jump back up here, uh, there are, you can get sports scores and news and you can check on your flights and you can do translations and get answers for things. And again, here's all that stuff. If you want to get help going out and things like that. Also, there's actions there. So you can tell it to set an alarm, um, set a timer, set reminders and things like that. Remind me to buy beer tomorrow morning. And there we have that. You can also say, show me upcoming reminders. And then if you've added a bunch of these, it will show you some of them. Um, I believe you can tap on these. And if you tap on one, it then lets you do modify it. And so you can cancel those and they will go away from reminder. I, I mean, I could keep going and going, but you guys sort of get this right. The assistance there. It's one of those things where all you need to do is say, what can you do? And then it will bring up all of this stuff that you can do. And so I highly recommend if you're going to use Allo to go through and check this out because there is some powerful stuff. Now, keep in mind, this is a preview edition of the assistant. And so it's not going to be the full blown um, idea here that Google probably wants to push forward. Of course, outside of assistant, this is a messenger first and foremost. So we've got that out of the way. We'll, we'll come back to some more assistant stuff in a second, but let's talk about it as a messenger. Now you can see I've got plenty of conversations going on here with myself. So I'll actually slide over second phone so you can see a little bit how this works. Now it's just a messenger, so I can say, what up, dude? And uh, we send that message and then it shows up over here and we'll tap in there. And so you can see there, hi, what's up, dude? So I am having a conversation with myself on video at this point. Um, if I want to pick up this phone and let's say I want to reply, um, hey bro, and then you remember Google probably showed this during IO. You can actually either hit send or you can amplify that by swiping up on the send button and then it'll say, hey bro, in giant lettering. And then it shows up over here as well in giant lettering and I can say, so silly and then you can actually slide that down and make it tiny and then it responded to myself with so silly and you can see that there really tiny uh you'll notice there's these white boxes under here so like with google assistant um when you're in your conversations google does try to give you smart reply so i could say what and then i didn't type anything and then it said that and then over here i can say nothing um and then it just sort of keeps going right and you can have these conversations without ever typing anything um what's wrong uh so i'll quit that now but you guys you guys get that point obviously you can type there's there's voice messages um if we hit this plus button right here it jumps into um the ability to take a picture so you can take a picture so let's just snap a picture of that right there uh once you send a picture there's options to send or you can even doodle on the thing so i can say cool and then i can even write stuff on there as well and you can move your text around to wherever you want and then i can send that and it will send that um you can see it popping up down there uh you can go in and just look at your pictures on your phone and send those as well you can go in and send stickers and so stickers are going to be a big thing that google's going to push so with stickers you have lots of options in here Plenty of them are silly. You can add new sticker packs. And if you tap in over here, you can download them. And all you do is just tap on the little download and then they download into your My Stickers area. You can even rearrange these so your favorite ones show up at the front of the line. You can delete ones that you don't like. Um, and if we go back here, I'll just show you if we send a sticker, like here's one that just says chillin' and that sends. 
and we'll jump back over here into this message. And so there's that picture I sent. There's the sticker I sent. I mean, it, it's an instant messenger in the end. Google's just trying to add in some fun features. Not that these are all that new compared to other features, but they are um, something. And there's obviously a location button there as well. Unless they want to reveal to you exactly where I live. So I'm not going to show you that. Uh, and, and so that's, that's kind of how it works as a messenger that there's nothing incredibly groundbreaking here. Sure. You can amplify messages and minimize them and send things and things like that. Uh, you will notice that we do have some check marks here. So if I send a message again, we'll just say hi and I send, you'll notice it goes from white to where it's sending to then sort of a greenish color check. That means it was sent. Um, if I go over here then and actually read that message, and I'll go back to this one, you'll see I now have a double check mark. So that means not only was it sent, but it was read by the other person. So we are doing read receipts and things like that as well. Uh, one thing I will show you is how it works when a notification comes in. So if I say, let's get a beer and send. And as those come in here, you can see it gives me some quick replies for what and where. Now this is kind of an issue, I think actually with Allo. Um, I can't actually, type out a quick message it wants me to use its own quick messages which i actually don't really like that like sure I, these might be these might be okay um like i could obviously say where since i just replied to let's get a beer um but i'll just, I'll just reply back with i don't know and then I, you know these are these are fine and these answers do actually work but what if i want to type something where i know a specific place or whatever I actually have to then tap in and go into the app and so google sort of quick messaging thing just kind of seems to disappear there unless those little short smart replies and those should get better and smarter as the more you use them uh, so let's see, there's there's not really a lot else to talk about just up front in terms of features. You obviously have emoji. Um, you can send voice messages here. I can say, what's up, dude? Let's go get a beer. And you can see it's recording and it's still recording because I'm still holding it down. And if I want to cancel it, I can slide it or I can just let go. And then it will send me that voice message, which shows up here and I can hit play. So what else? Um, group messaging. So let me jump back to this phone, which you can see the battery's now dying. So we jump back to this phone. I've got a group message going. So when you tap on the button down here to start a new message, you can select multiple people and set up group messaging and you guys get that as well. So let me go in here and I'm talking to two of myself um, and you can set an avatar and things like that for the group setting. Um, let me bring in third phone because yes, I do actually have three of these. Hey guys and send. And so then we should get messages everywhere and we do. And so they all have these smart replies and things like that. Um, one thing I will show you is this phone, this is obviously a five X. So it's running nougat just to show you what's different here. Uh, not really much. I mean, it has the new style notifications, but you still can't reply. You have to use their quick replies or smart replies or actually go into the app. Um, so, you know, that's it. You can, I guess I can also show you that you can bring in a Google assistant into your group messaging as well, in case you're planning dinner with multiple people and things like that. So one thing I haven't necessarily talked about yet is the incognito mode and sort of security and things like that. So, um, if you, if you tap this button down here, you can start a new incognito message and, and this is what they look like when you're in one. So they are person to person incognito messages. And as you can tell there, says you started incognito chat with me this is a secret with encryption expiring chats and private notifications so when you have an incognito thread going those notifications don't show information as they show up on other people's phone they just tell them they have a new notification um, they're encrypted and then you can have them expire and things like that so they just don't stay around and again they're also encrypted um, in terms of the regular messages you'll see those are not encrypted and google kind of backtracked a little bit on what they initially said they were going to do with allo so those messages are all stored on google servers um, and if you want them gone you have to go delete them now they said they're doing this basically because it makes assistance smarter um, unfortunately when they first pitched this to everyone we thought it was all going to be secure and safe and assistant was still going to work and that's not necessarily the case so in here obviously because it's an incognito mode um, you can't talk to google so you can see if i'm trying to act google it's not allowing me to do that um, and so you lose that functionality right so you do have private secure messaging but you don't have 
um, the bonus of Google Assistant, which is a pretty big deal. So um, when you do send these, I'll just show you. Um, I can just say hi and send one to myself. Um, and now when these pop up, you'll see it just says, Allo, you have a new message. And so it doesn't tell me who it's from, what the contents are, any of that stuff. I have to tap on that and then it will actually take me in there um, and let me have that conversation. So you do still get functionality in terms of stickers and sharing your location and taking pictures and all of that stuff. So that stuff has stayed, but you don't get the Google Assistant. So, I mean, is, is, is it worth it then? And so that that's kind of where we come to. Is, is, Google, is Google's Allo worth taking your time to convince all of your friends to jump to. Um, for one, you can't use multiple devices at a time. If you have this phone and this phone, you can't sign into the same number, or if you do, it'll sign you out of one and only let you message and receive notifications from one. So it really is tied to that phone number. There's also no desktop experience, um, no tablet support as far as we know. And so you're really just stuck on your phone on that one number. Um, now I know most people would probably be fine with that, but if you're sort of a messaging power user, that doesn't exactly work. Um, the encryption thing is obviously a big deal. Um, there's no SMS support. So if you want to use this as an all in one messenger with SMS and as Allo, you can't do that because there isn't SMS. So it's, uh, it's a fun app with the Google assistant built in that should get better and maybe become more, um, more useful over time. Um, unfortunately, Google kind of backtracked on some of the security, doesn't have SMS, and there aren't apps that can be used everywhere. And now I know Google's trying to push this idea that standalone apps are the future, but I think a lot of us would rather just have it all in one. Um, I'll let you guys decide on whether or not um, you agree with that or not. But so this is Allo. We've taken a really long look. I didn't mean for it to be this long, but this is just how it is. There's a lot going on here, a lot to share. So uh, let us know what you guys think. Is Allo the new messaging app for you? Or are you sticking with what you've got? Uh, for now, we're Droid Life. Peace.